What's up? I'm super excited. In this box, I have 100 CDs. Been waiting so long for this moment. Unwarped webs and orange peels, physical copies, finally here. I'm gonna unbox them right now, see how they came out. Hopefully they look perfect. I'm also gonna do a little bit of a review of Disc Makers, which is the company I chose to create the CDs. They're like an online company. You give them all the music and the artwork and they create the final packaging for you. All right, yeah, let's do it. Let's give it a shot. I have too many fake friends and when I say fake friends, Just kidding, just kidding. Don't play with scissors. Actually, I think I'm gonna get this snare drum. Make a table. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, right here. So here we go, got the setup. Uh, I'm gonna unlock it now, unlock it, fucking cut it open. Before I do this, if you are coming across this video randomly and you've never listened to my songs, let me just introduce myself. I am Punkowski, I make and produce my own music. Uh, you can check out the songs on this album called Unwarped Webs and Orange Peels. Uh, it's a mixtape, really. It's 21 tracks, there's 11 songs, and then nine transmissions, which are like these weird poem things. And if you are a fan, uh, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe. We're almost at 100 followers. I've said that in a few videos now. If we get to 100, I'd be super stoked. So leave a comment. Let me know why I'm cool or why I suck. Let's go ahead and open this. Mm. Got him. Fuck. There it is. And now, for the big reveal. All right, so we got a little receipt. Nothing of too, of too much concern here. We got a little coupon of some kind, save 30% on select models of disc makers, USBs. What do you think of these USB things? I mean, at first they seem cool. It's like, cool, I'm USB with my music. Plug it into your computer. Like, no one really listens to CDs, but is anybody gonna fucking plug in a USB? Also, like, viruses and shit. It just seems sketch. It seems sketch. So here they are. They feel so nice. I haven't looked at them yet. Ah, oh, fuck. The spine looks good. Let's open it up. I'm gonna take out one right here. Holy shit. This is pretty sick, not gonna lie. Let me hold that up to the camera. Minus the glare. You don't need to have them wrapped, but it was a free option. They come poly wrapped is what they're called. Just basically a little plastic wrap so they don't get scratched as much. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the plastic wrap and then see what it looks like on the inside. Here it is. It's unwarped webs and orange peels. It feels pretty nice, not gonna lie. It is like a cardboard paper kind of vibe. It's not a plastic CD case, but it is a digi pack that has a plastic container for the CD right here, kind of glued on. So honestly, the packaging feels phenomenal. Uh, I'm gonna do a more thorough review in a second, but I just kind of want to show each each panel. We got the front cover, old design. Shout out to KLHR, who I will talk about more in a second. He's the guy who designed the entire artwork, really. We have the back cover with the track list and the logo dead center in the middle. We have the spine, which really just says uh, Punkowski and the album title Unworked Webs and Orange Peels. And then we have the inside panels, which when you take the CD out, the CD case is clear, so you can actually see like both uh, designs. So there it is. It feels pretty professional. It's got a weight to it, especially with the CD into it, with in it. Yeah, it feels nice. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with the quality, the print job. So the design itself, I reached out to a guy, Kevin Lau. He goes by KLHR. Uh, his Instagram is at KLHR Design, and um, he also has a website, KLHR Design. I definitely recommend you check him out. His artwork is awesome. And what I liked about his art originally that uh, wanted me to reach out to him to work with him is that a lot of his pieces have like uh, almost like a pun or a uh, an idea behind the artwork. It's not just a cool image. It's a cool image that also like makes you think a certain way. It provokes thought. And it may not even tell you like what he's trying to push you to think. It kind of just puts an idea out there and it's like, is this the way? Is this right? Is this wrong? So I really like that idea. Obviously, Punkowski, a lot of my uh, symbolisms about questioning things, the logo, etc. So I like what he's doing. And it was a pretty cool process. I mean, I told him like I need an album cover. That was the original thing I asked for. And I basically sent him what the album was about, different concepts, colors, things I liked. And then he started coming up with ideas from scratch and sketched out uh, by hand some really awesome ideas. I gave him a lyric, <clears throat> handful of lyrics, and one of them was, I was killed when I was taught to read, which is a lyric that appears in track 13 and track um, 11 in the title. And so he came up with the design of this, 
which is basically a guy hanging from a noose reading a book. And it was a very simple sketch of it, but right away I was like, yo, this really pops. I like this concept a lot. And then he's like, okay, cool. I'm going to like uh, do a better mock-up of it, like actually start to design it. Honestly, I think what I'm going to do is like put the artwork on the screen because I know it's hard to see what's in my hands right now. So I'll just put the actual digital artwork like right here. I love how the peels came out. The little spiral peel I think is awesome. There's like a, a spider web hanging from the noose. At first I told him like, I just need a f album cover. And I, I was like thinking I'll just do the insides. Cause like, whatever, I, I'm decent enough at Photoshop. I'm not really a graphic designer or somebody talented enough to create this. But I, I'm like, I can just put a track list and some colors on the inside. But I, as I started to try to do that, I was like, man, I really, this sucks compared to the front cover. Like I want this thing to be cohesive and I want everything about this CD to be as good as that front cover design that he made. So uh, I reached out to him again, based on the front cover. I was like, what if the CD was a rope and I want the inside to be his same book. And I, I had the idea of like adding my handwriting to it. And he was like, send me your handwriting. I'll fucking, <laughs> I'll merge it in. So I, I wrote out a bunch of stuff. So everything on the internal pages is my own handwriting that I just wrote on a white sheet of paper, sent it to him. And then he kind of like merged it into the document, placed them in different ways, like scattered madman notebook vibe. And I think he achieved it so awesomely. So those are, that's really all the, all the design elements. You have a man reading on the front cover, but he's obviously hanging from a noose with some like pages below his feet. And then on the inside, you get a look into that very same book he's reading or so we think with a rope as well. A fear of mine at first with the printing of the CD was that the design itself was so dark of an image, meaning like uh, it's just like kind of almost hard to make out the man himself on the cover and like his face, which I liked. I wanted it to kind of be an, an anonymous face, but it was just like a very dark image. And even on a computer screen at times, I'm like, man, is it hard to even tell what's going on with all the different elements? But now that I hold it in my hands, I kind of, it ended up working out. Yes, it is a dark image, but that kind of adds to the effect of like the, the mysteriousness of it. And I, I love how clear the handwriting is on the print job and all that. The one thing I do kind of dislike about this CD is that you do have this white gap here. This is on the uh, DigiPack from Disc Makers. The way they print it and fold the CD case to, to package it like this, there ends up being a white gap here in the middle. It does cut off the guy's thumb a little bit right here. So it's not a, a deal breaker for me. That's why I went with it anyways, but it is something that I just wish, you know, you could see the full design. Not a big deal, but for my review, I wanted to mention that to be fair. Also, I will say there's like a white, almost like scratch mark. It's probably not a scratch but it's something there and it's like almost like maybe in the print job there's just like a white a white line I, I, let me see if I can get close enough and you can see it and I just checked all the other ones like not every single one but I pulled out from different spots and they do all have that white line. I feel like it was a printer error. Disc makers, I will say, they're a company that seems to be really legit and they have really good customer service and they like call you from the first moment like you make your CD, they're calling you and saying like, do you need help with anything, the design? To be honest, I didn't pick up any of those calls because I was like, I don't need the help, but I knew it was always there. And so I feel like, I don't know if I'm gonna reach out to them to say anything about this line. It's not enough for me to be like mad about it, but it is the front cover. I don't know. I'll reach out to them. I, I wouldn't doubt it if they uh, sent me some more free CDs or gave me a discount or I don't know, but I, I do have faith in that. So it's not a huge deal for me, but I did want to point that out because it does exist. Um, everything came out very readable as well. The text, the font. I'm super hyped about these. This is like, it's so cool. You make music and you kind of put it out on the internet, but to hold something physically in your hands, that's like a complete product. It feels so nice. If you come to my shows in the future, <laughs> I will be selling these if you want one and you're not in Miami uh, Just fucking send me a message and I'll mail you one. I'm selling them for ten bucks I'm also gonna be doing some like giveaways for a few of them on Instagram depending on when you're watching this video That might have already happened when I first started making music. I was like I never want to sell my music, but uh I kind of have to to have a career and this is like the first piece piece of merch that I'm actually going to be selling. So I'm excited to see how that goes. If you do want one, they're going to be $10. This isn't a fucking advertisement, but I figured I would say that. Also on the CD, there's a uh, introduction track that will not be on any uh, digital platform. So the introduction track is um, called Introduction on Warped Webs and Orange Peels. It's not going to be on Spotify or any other platform. It's only on this physical disc. My overall review for disc makers would be I do recommend them. I would buy again from them. I'm excited to see what people think about these when they finally get them in their hands. Hopefully it's like, whoa, this is awesome and I'm like, cool, whatever. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe or don't and have a good day, I guess. I don't really, how do I end this? Unwarped webs and orange peels. Now I know what you can do to me.